Hey everyone, it's Dylan from the Black Forest Wood Company. This week we're going to be showing you guys uh, for the first time a Resin River barn door. Uh, so we've done I think one before, but this is the first time we filmed the process for YouTube and actually got to install it ourselves. So it's Canadian black walnut with deep blue resin and we got this really nice MTech hardware on there. So we're going to show you guys the pour and our process of installation. So let us know what you think. Uh, let us know if you like this new style, if you'd rather have a barn door or if you'd rather have a table. Uh, I'm curious to know and I hope you guys enjoy the video. For this pour, we've used our Black Forest Deep Resin and we're also using some of our Black Forest pigments. Now we've used some other brands of pigments in this mixture as well and that's a, a question we've got before is can you mix different brands of pigment together? The answer is yes uh, because there's really not a whole lot of difference in the products themselves. Uh, it's usually just different colors that dif different companies will offer. So we mix that in kind of slowly trying not to add too much bubbles into the mixture. Um, we don't pour that slowly though, which isn't an issue because our Black Forest resins will release the bubbles on its own as the resin cures. Uh, and then we also like to pour about an eighth of an inch or a quarter inch over top of the whole piece just so we can fill all the cracks and inclusions in a single shot without having to go back and then fill them all in separately. And then once this is all filled up, we leave it in for seven days to cure, then it can get popped out of the form and go onto the CNC for flattening. here out in the beautiful country we're going to be installing a resin barn door first one we've done yeah so we want to go probably on the ends like this time hey yeah. Do you want to go right up on edge first? I think so. Do you want to go this way? Sure. Okay. Maybe I'll go in here first. Good there. sticks out to see where the track's going to be and then we'll measure out to see how far yeah, that will be. Okay so we got on site for this job and the boys actually had uh, a little bit of a tough time because there was a, a beam uh, and a little gap up there that we we didn't know was there before we got on site and then it actually because we had to mount above that it resulted in the door uh, sitting up higher than it was supposed to so we had to come up with a little fix for the bottom but You'll see how we were able to pull that off. Um, so we're, we're using MTech barn door hardware uh, and we got that from Banbury Lane here in Calgary if you guys want to check them out if you're looking for some of this hardware. Uh, it's, it's really good stuff. We use it on all of our barn doors and it's got no problem supporting the weight and it also accommodates for a slightly thicker barn door than standard uh, which is something we like to do with our epoxy pours just because the thicker the piece the more stable it's going to be. So Spencer has everything pre-drilled out in the, in the home here, in the actual wall, and now he's just fastening on that track with Ben to the wall. And they've also got their hardware screwed into the top of the barn door, as you see. So carefully, they're going to lift it on just to make sure everything's functioning properly. Uh, obviously, this is very critical that that top piece is perfectly level. Otherwise, your door is going to want to slide on its own to one side. We can adjust it a little bit better after. Yeah. Okay, if you just 
hold the bottom. Mm -hmm. Got this. So now that we know that the hardware works and everything is in the right place, we're actually going to go ahead and drill all of our holes to mount this hardware in. Um, we didn't the first time just in case we had to move anything. So now we're sure, we taped everything off, we've drilled our holes in and we can actually fasten this hardware on for real and put the door up for the final time. Like I mentioned earlier, we had to mount this a little bit higher than we were expecting to, uh, which resulted in a larger gap on the bottom. So our little fin that typically screws directly into the floor actually wasn't going to reach the groove that's in the bottom of the door. So we had to add in another block into their floor that would actually raise that fin up so that it could come in contact with that groove. Um, and that was actually an idea the client had. We, we didn't know what we were going to do, um, but he said, why don't you just cut a little block? So we did and we're just getting that screwed down right now. Um, and it actually all worked out really, really well. Okie dokie. install this beautiful rolling barn door on some real nice hardware. Look at that. Glides like a dream. So this is our uh, Black Forest oil and our Black Forest resin with probably our Black Forest pigment all stacked in Black Forest and uh, Black Walnut. There you go. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, the clients were very, very pleased with this door. And the contractor that actually got us this job um, already got us another job. So we're doing resin exterior doors. That, that won't be for a few months, but it's our first ever uh, exterior door unit with uh, resin and burl. Um, so that will be very, very fun. You guys will have to stay tuned for that. But thank you again for watching, and we'll see you guys next week.